What's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review once again a perfume from the house of Ahmad Al Maghrabi. And this is another recently launched perfume from the house, but this is their very first online exclusive product, which means that this perfume is not available in their stores for testing. So here I am to tell you that how this perfume actually smells or at least to give you a rough sketch or an idea of this perfume to tell you that what kind of fragrance is this. So here I'm talking about their recently launched their first exclusive perfume Sadek. So let's start our review and as always we will start with the presentation first and then I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So first of all the presentation here is very similar to their two other perfumes. Uh, one is Min Sheikh, which I have reviewed a few months back. You can uh, check it out on my channel if you are interested. Uh, detailed review is available there on Scent On. Just search Scent On Min Sheikh and you will be able to find it. And then the second perfume with the same presentation is Dam Watani, which is still pending for the review. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to purchase it uh, on uh, coming Eid. And this is the third perfume which comes in the same presentation, very similar presentation. So you will get a paper box, simple paper cover box on the top, like this. You will find the name of perfume, uh, Sadek here in the front, nothing on the sides, nothing in the bottom and logo of Ahmad Al Maghrabi on the top and then some ingredient details in the back, printed in silver foil. And your barcode, uh, manufacturing date, batch number, etc. by the way, uh, the batch number of my perfume is 230216 and manufacturing date is 23 February 2023. So this is the first paper or you can say a hard paper cover. And then inside this box, you are going to get your real luxury box. And here you go. This is a box with leather finish. I'm not sure if this is pure leather. It's not pure, it's a synthetic leather with the name of perfume Sadek here, printed in silver, the logo of Ahmad Al Maghrabi, and then nothing on the sides, in the back, or on the top. And once you open this box, you will find this beautiful paper wrappings here, silky type of uh, fabric or paper kind of thing here. And once you're going to remove it, you will find your bottle resting here in this foam cut out here. So, this is how the box looks. And now let me show you the bottle and here we go and you'll get this perfume in this bottle so you will get this perfume in this bottle the bottle is very similar to bin sheikh and dam watani and here you will find the name of the perfume printed in silver once again and the logo of ahmed al maghrabi here in the bottom the cap here is made of metal and it's very heavy and atomizer is good it's not excellent not the best one but it's a good atomizer. So this is about presentation. And now let's talk about the perfume, the fragrance. So let me give you the nose breakdown first, and then I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So after uh, doing my research on their website, I was able to uh, figure out this nose breakdown. So in the top, you'll get bergamo, lemon, cardamom, angelica, juniper berries, and pink pepper. And then in the heart, you will get ylang ylang, orange blossom, cedar wood, violet, rose, oris, and coconut. And then in the base, you will get vanilla, musk, patchouli, tobacco, apple, amber, and sandalwood. So this is the official Norse breakdown as per Ahmed Al Maghrabi's official website. And now I will try to tell you that how this perfume actually smells. So first of all, keep one thing in your mind that you should not compare this perfume with the other two because Bin Sheikh and Dam Watani, they are Middle Eastern Oriental type of fragrances. They are Arabic or you can say Indian type of scents, uh, not Occidental or you can say uh, those perfumes are not designer type of scents. They are very Middle Eastern or very, very Indian. On the other hand, this perfume is designer type of scent it's refreshing. The other two, they are not uh, refreshing or fresh kind of scents. Those two are not freshies. But here, this is a fruity, fresh and bright type of concoction here. This is totally different from uh, those two. So don't compare. And now let's talk about the fragrance of Sadek. Sadek is a fruity, citrusy, a 
bit green, floral and musky type of scent. It opens with sweet fruits and some citruses on the top. Mainly it's a combination of bergamot and oh, white musk with some other uh, sweet fruits which includes juniper berries etc as per the North breakdown. So mainly sweet fruits with musk and then you will get a very beautiful combo of florals. Mainly it's angelica and ylang ylang a little bit in the back and then you will get a very prominent note of coconut hair mixed with sweet vanilla. This perfume is going to give you that fruity and mangoish kind of vibe. This is a very bright, very vibrant and designer kind of scent. So this is how this perfume opens and then later on towards the dry dawn, it becomes more creamy and more powdery. Those fruitiness is going to stay with you for some time, but florals starts to take over and they become more dominant. And then towards the final dry dawn, it becomes more powdery and more creamy, soft, woody kind of concoction. So this is how this perfume smells. It's a very nice scent, crowd pleaser. The note of coconut is just in the beginning for, you can say for the first half an hour to one hour, and then it disappears and it becomes more floral based concoction. It's sweet, it's floral, it's creamy, powdery, woody kind of concoction. Overall, it's a very nice scent. So this is how this perfume smells. This is the journey of this perfume. It's not very complex. It's simple, crowd pleaser, fruity, sweet kind of concoction. So this was about the fragrance of Sadek. And now let's talk about the other aspects of this perfume. So performance wise, this perfume is going to give you a total longevity of around one day. Solid performance is for around six to seven hours and you can always refresh after five to six hours. And projection and siraj is moderate here. This is not a beast kind of scent. Yes, in the beginning, it's going to project very well for the first half an hour, but then it becomes soft, but it always maintain a beautiful scent bubble around you. And after six to seven hours, it becomes very light and it becomes a skin scent type of perfume. So this is how it performs. It's good, it's not bad because a uh, scent profile like this, where it's fruity and uh, fresh, it could be better, uh, but still it's fine. Performance wise, it's good. And for the gender, this is a unisex scent. Ladies or gents, anyone can rock it easily. Uh, for the age group, you should be around uh, 22 to 23 years old to rock this scent. And for the season or weather, you can use this perfume all year around, summers or winters, whenever you want, wherever you want. So occasion wise, this is a scent which can be used in all kinds of scenarios. In your uh, casual kind of scenarios, in your formal scenarios, in your office, in outdoors, in malls, in get togethers, parties, weddings, uh, whenever you want, wherever you want. Uh, it's going to work very well in all kinds of scenarios, no issue at all. So this was about the occasion and now let's talk about price. So you will get this perfume in this beautiful presentation and the quantity you will get here is 90 ml Ode Parfum concentration and the price inside UAE is 200 or 205 UAE dirhams for 90 ml of this juice. Uh, once again, I want to remind you that this is an online exclusive product. It's not available in the store to check out. So this was about Sadek from the house of Ahmed Al Maghrabi. Uh, one more thing which I forget to tell you in the beginning is that the color of juice here is not crystal clear. It's a little bit blurry. It's a little bit hazy. You know, uh, there is a, some white kind of fog here. It's a little bit foggy. So don't get panicked because of this. This is normal. So this was my review about Sadek from the house of Ahmed Al Maghrabi. I hope you like this review and this review is going to help uh, those people who are thinking to buy this perfume and it's going to help you in your future uh, purchases. Do let me know in the comment box if this review was helpful to you. And until the next video, take care, put your scent on, stay fragrant and bye.